Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Today we look at a woman who was jailed after slicing open an off-duty paramedic's face during an after party that happened at her flat that went very wrong. At the end of a four day trial, Miss Emily Chu, who had been convicted of the charge, was unanimously convicted by a jury of assaulting Mr. Owen O. Flaherty with an intent to cause him serious, grievous bodily harm. Having heard evidence from two expert witnesses who disagreed about how the great gaping wound was actually caused at Mr. O. Flaherty's face, the judge said he could not be certain that Miss Chu had used a piece of pottery as she suggested or in fact used a pocket knife as the prosecution had alleged. The forensic scientist overseeing the case, Dr. Derek James, told the Crown Court that he did not believe the injury was caused by a piece of pottery, as Ms. Chu had claimed. The judge, recorder Edward Burgess QC, said, I am not satisfied beyond reasonable doubt that Ms. Chu used a knife but I will sentence her on the basis that she did pick up a sharp piece of pottery and she used that to inflict the very serious, grievous harm that she intended. So the question is, what really happened that night? The jury of seven women and five men heard that Mr. O'Flaherty, who worked as a paramedic, had been out socialising that night with other colleagues who he had worked with in Cheltenham and although he had been there before, it was not a town he said he knew very well. Mr. O'Flaherty had, after a long night out drinking, somehow became detached from his original group of friends that he had gone out with that night, and accepted that over a course of that evening, he himself had gotten very drunk. In the early hours of the morning, Mr. O'Flaherty had, whilst walking about, eventually met Miss Chu and her group of friends, who were also out having a drink, both having no prior knowledge of knowing each other before that moment. Mr. Flaherty then went with the group he had met to a nearby McDonald's for food, and then at 6.38am, as shown on CCTV, the group then went to a nearby Nisa store, where Mr. Flaherty had brought a bottle of rum a bottle of coke and a pack of cigarettes. This was before the group then went on to Miss Chu's flat. All the witnesses agreed that all the males that were in the flat had been drinking very heavily. But Miss Chu, the lone female in the house, had maintained that she was not much of a drinker herself and was sipping slowly on a drink throughout the night. Miss Chu then explained whilst giving evidence during her trial that she was not drunk, but in her opinion, just tipsy. She described to the court that the way the men were drinking had made her cringe. At some point during the night, the mood in her flat had, for some reason or another, soured. Miss Chu claimed that Mr. Flaherty had kept coming over to her and kept touching her throughout the night. I told him five times, you need to stop touching me, Miss Chu explained whilst giving evidence. Miss Chu then claimed that the final straw was when Mr. Flaherty had touched her in her inner thigh. This was something that Mr. Flaherty disputed, and he said it was something he would never do. Although he did accept that, due to the amount of alcohol that was consumed, and as well as being assaulted that night, that his memory of events was most likely vague and in all probability just limited to flashbacks. It was established that Mr. Flaherty had left the flat. He said it was of his own accord after he had been punched. But other witnesses who were at the flat had claimed that Mr. Flaherty was forcibly ejected. Mr. Flaherty was then seen on CCTV standing on the corner of the street near Miss Chu's flat. Mr. Flaherty has said he felt disorientated due to being punched, as well as all the alcohol he had consumed. This was as well as not knowing Cheltenham. CCTV footage then showed one of Miss Chu's friends striding towards Mr. Flaherty and punching him. The prosecutor, Janine Wood, told the jury that the group in Miss Chu's flat had taken offence to Mr. Flaherty when he would not leave the area 
and were throwing items from the flat window towards him, such as eggs, plates and cups. Mrs Wood said that Miss Chu then shouted from the window, If you don't fuck off now, I'll come down and I'll do you. She was then described by others as absolutely raging. Miss Wood said, throwing eggs, smashing china plates and other items. Five minutes later, Miss Chu is then seen striding towards Mr. Flaherty herself. Miss Wood said, she then raises her right arm and has an item in her hand. She makes contact with his left cheek and strikes him. One of her friends who was at the party said that they saw Miss Chu return to the flat with a knife in her hand. However, Miss Chu maintained that she had picked up a piece of pottery from the floor and she had done this to harden her punch. I am not going to tell you falsely, she said. I took about three, four steps. I saw it and I picked it up. I walked in a straight line. I remember it clear as day. It was right in front of me. It was on the road. I did not pick it up to use it as a weapon, she told the jury. I just thought in my head, it might harden my punch. I went straight towards Mr. Flaherty and I punched him with this piece of pottery that I had in my hand, Miss Cho had said. As a result, Mr. Flaherty had suffered from a severe injury to his face, with a scar that is still visible on his face over a year later, running from his ear to his mouth on his left cheek. In a victim impact statement, the court heard how the injury had a profound effect on Mr. Flaherty and his life. He said that it made his work as a paramedic even more difficult and every day every other client would ask him how he had that scar on his face which made him relive the memory almost every day. Mr. Flaherty also said that the elderly now seemed to be frightened of him and he felt that people had made judgement about his character just because of the scar. People see my scar and they think I'm some kind of troublemaker, he said. He added that in his work, he attends drunk females and every time he worries it could be Miss Chu. It makes me feel unsafe at work and reluctant to go out. The judge ruled that the reactions of others to him will persist as it is visible scarring to the face. The defence lawyer Stephen Dent told the judge that Miss Chu had a troubled upbringing and had suffered from abuse and as a result from his upbringing, this meant that she did not react well to people touching her inappropriately, Mr Dent said. The provocation was meaningful. She took any sort of touching on her body very seriously in adult life. However, the judge observed there was absolutely no reason why she went downstairs to confront him the way she did. He presented no threat to her whatsoever. She is angry that he hasn't gone away and throwing items at him had failed. Mr Dent said she expressed that she is devastated about what happened to Mr Flaherty. However, the judge said, I have to balance that remorse against the fact that she had a trial. The judge decided to impose a six year jail term to Miss Emily Chu who had been crying since the verdict was announced. The judge said, I am not going to take very long over this because you are in some state of distress. You are out of control. He posed absolutely no threat and what you did was terrible. I have seen the photographic evidence of the great gaping wound across his face. It has had a profound effect on him, the judge said. It provokes questions that he must now answer on a daily basis, based on a wholly false judgement on his character. You are immature and you have mental health issues, the judge noted. And the offence was quite a while ago. But you did not have the courage to admit what you have done. You sought to take your chances in the court and you have been convicted rightly. I cannot be sure that you took a knife with you when you went to confront him. But you did deliberately use the pottery that you did admit to carrying to inflict a serious injury as you were in a rage with him. You were volatile and unpredictable. You showed that with this man. He will pay the price for the rest of his life. 
However, you will pay the price now. Thank you for joining us today. What are your opinions on Miss Chu? Do you believe she did carry a knife? Or do you in fact believe that she had a piece of pottery? What are your opinions of her sentence? Was a six year sentence too harsh? Or do you believe it wasn't harsh enough? Please let us know in the comments below. And until next time, stay safe.